Shamalos, please recite with me. Shamalos, Ashrei, call your name. Adoy no, Hahudaich, Bidrocho. about how special it is when the holy ladies who have husbands learning the kolel, how they work extra hard today in providing for the families so their husband could spend more time in learning. And I'm thinking about the women at home who are struggling with many children and at the same time cleaning their household, making dinner, making lunch, making breakfast, sending the children off to school, while the husband is working and then in the evenings hopefully he's learning a little bit, thinking about the greatness of this task, thinking about the greatness 
of the woman who opens up a book at night to learn the Torah and stories of Sadiqim instead of turning on the television or going on the computer to waste time, but continues to bring an atmosphere into the home that is inspirational, like the atmosphere of Rachel had given for her family. You know, it wasn't always that Rabbi Kiva was a great scholar, her husband. He was a simple shepherd out tending to the sheep, and he really didn't even know Aleph Bays. And Rachel saw him, and she saw that this person, I see how he tends to the sheep, to the animals. I see how caring he is, how good-natured he is. And she started spending more time talking to him, getting to know him. Meanwhile, her father had was looking around for a shidduch, for a, a, a match for his daughter that would be very appropriate for a man, for a family who was very wealthy and known in the community. And meanwhile, Rachel is getting to know this simple man who was unlearned. And she saw the potential, the spark within this holy Jew. And she knew that she was someone that could take it and bring it to light. And that's exactly what she did. She took this shepherd and told him, I believe in you, that you can learn Torah, you can, and please begin on your quest and get to know Hashem. Why you're tending to the sheep, the whole reason why you're, you're, you're this way, that you care for the animals is really, this is your nature, the gift of your nature that, that that is, that is so pure and holy that, that it's yearning for the Torah. And so take your efforts, instead of the animals, and put it into the Jewish people, into learning Torah, into teaching Torah. And he began, and he was successful, due to her inspiration and her encouragement. And then he fostered 24,000 Talmudim, which were very great in the Torah, and learned it. And meanwhile, Rivka was at home, living a simple life, not pursuing delicacies that cost a lot of money. And she inspired her husband to stay learning, and she would take care of the children. And when he came back to visit, and she saw all the Tamidim behind him, she was inspired herself that she had been successful in her task as a woman to inspire. And a woman's greatest feature is her ability to, to give inspiration to others and encouragement. And her soul is very beautiful. And she can bring so much light to Pali Yisrael. See the camera? Is that you? Yeah. Yako, put the put the knife down. Do you wanna film? It's on. No, no, don't touch. Don't touch. You just film. No, no, no. Don't touch this. You leave this. Now you're filming Nima. Why are you filming? No. Bye. You film the Yaku. What's wrong?